Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a particle effect in VSDC Free Video Editor. So, first of all, please update to the latest version of VSDC Free Video Editor. The developers released the latest version, version 6.6, .6, and you will find this particle effect in the latest version of VSDC. So, once you update to the latest version, um, let's talk about the particle effect so particle effect creates an illusion of falling particles and uh, it's actually super interesting and um, as you can see i've already written some text on my screen which is the name of my youtube channel and um, to create a particle effect first click on the text object in the editor now go to video effects go to nature select particles and click on OK. Now look inside the particle effect settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this option called template groups. Now there are various template groups available. So the one which came default after I kind of updated VSDC was this Christmas and I downloaded times of year from the VSDC official website. So you can go to the VSDC official website and uh, download templates. Maybe I will give a link in the description below. So let's just look at the Christmas template and uh, inside the Christmas template, I have four options. So I have gold stars, Xmas toys, confetti and balls. So if I just select gold stars and um, wind angle is 270 wind strength is 10 linear movement is true size of particle is 5 percent all right let me just quickly play the video for you so this is gold stars so what this is is it creates an illusion of falling particles in this case the particle is gold star so let me change the particle to xmas toys again let me just play the video from the start so the first first gold star, this is Xmas toys. The third one is confetti. And again, let me just play the video from the start. So this is confetti. And the final one is balls like this. Final one is balls. Now you can further customize this templates. All right. So you can further customize this balls, confetti, um, Xmas toys and gold stars. So let's just take um, confetti for, a, for example. And uh, so we got the wind angle at 270. We have the wind strength at 25. So wind angle is 270, meaning that the particles will fall from top to bottom. So if I just play the video, the particles are falling from top to bottom because the wind angle is 270 degrees. So if I just change the wind angle to 360 degrees, the particles will fall, uh, will go from right to left. So if I just quickly play the video again from the start, the particles will go from right to left because the wind angle is 360 degrees. And uh, if I just change the wind angle to 180 degrees, the particles will go from left to right. So again, if I just quickly play the video from the start. Now the wind angle is 180 degrees. So the particle is moving from left to right. All right. So this is what wind angle does. It kind of gives direction in uh, where the particles will fall, whether from uh, left to right or right to left or top to bottom or uh, bottom to top, you can adjust that setting using this wind angle. So let me just again change the wind angle to 270 degrees because I want my particles to fall from top to bottom like this. All right, so the next is wind strength. So how fast this particles are falling so currently it is 25 so if i just increase it to 50 
now let me just play the video again from the start as you can see since i increased the wind strength from 25 to 50 the particles are falling at a much higher speed so let me just again decrease it to let's just experiment so let me just decrease it to 10 now the particles will fall at a really uh, less speed so watch the video on the screen so as you can see the particles are falling at a really low speed because i changed the wind strength from 50 to 10. let's move on to the uh, next option which is linear movement all right so currently the linear movement is true and uh, which is pretty much self-explanatory because let me just change the wind strength to 25 and with linear movement the particles are falling in one straight line but if i just change this from true to false if i change the linear movement from true to false now the particles are not falling in a single line all right they are falling left right and center there is no linear movement involved now in the particles because i changed the option from true to false again let me just change it to true and again if i just quickly play the video from the start now the particles are falling again in a single straight line in a linear pattern so this is what linear movement does so we saw the wind angle wind strength linear movement the next is size of particle so currently the size of confetti particles is five percent so really small now watch this if i just change the size of the particle from five to let's say maybe 30 you see this the size of the particles literally kind of increased so initially the size of this was five percent i increased it to 30 percent and as you can see this is what is happening on the screen so using this option you can actually increase or decrease the size of the particle let me just change that to five only because five looks much more better so this is the size of the particle at five percent we saw what happens at 30 percent and if you just keep on increasing the size of the particle will just increase and finally the final option which is there is this one maximum number of particles so currently it is 256 so 256 particles at a moment are there on the screen so if i just change this or increase it to increase this to somewhere around 500 now watch this as you can see the number of particles increased to 500 earlier it was 256 now it is 500 so as you can see you can see more of the uh, confetti on the screen so this is what a particle effect does it kind of creates an illusion of falling particles and uh, you can actually try a lot of things so we just saw this christmas template we also have this times of year so if i just change this to times of year and if i just change uh, look at the look at the templates inside the times of year we got winter autumn summer and spring so let me just let's say select winter and let me just play the video from the start once again so this is winter guys the template group is times of year and the template is winter so that's it guys this is all i wanted to share with you in this particular video do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching